Before you got into comedy, you were a physical therapist. Yes. What was that like? So it's it's an interesting profession because believe it or not, I mostly work with kids, pediatrics, but there was six months where I was orthopedics. And one day a guy came in with like excruciating back pain, right? All this back pain, whatever. And I couldn't reproduce it. Part of your job as a physical therapist is trying to reproduce the pain and then you can narrow it down. Well, it's got to be this, got to be that. And so I couldn't do it. I was a new, new, brand new therapist. So I called in my boss who's got 20, had 20 years experience. So he goes, you know what? Pull down your pants. He literally, <laughs> her, what, what was going to turn out to be herpes. He had, he had, Herpes, chlamydia, and I think gonorrhea all at the same time. Oh, what he was oh, man, doing was what he was doing was paying extra. He was paying thousands of dollars extra to have sex with prostitutes with no condom. You would never. You would walk past this guy. He was like a soccer dad from yeah. Long Island. Wait, so, are, you're are you're a doctor. Yes, you I have say, a doctorate I, degree. How do you make that leap? So, what makes you decide? Do people do people where you work say, "Hey, man, you're funny." So what happened was, is I was on this show on MTV called Guy Code, and Guy Code got really popular amongst high school, college kids in 2013. And I was simultaneously doing physical therapy and comedy, and I got on this Guy Code show, and I was starting to get recognized by these young moms who I was treating their kids in school. They were like, are you... Are you the guy from Guy Code? I was like, oh, yeah. And they, and you know, there. I remember my principal of the school watched the one episode she watched. It was a three minute piece where I went over the Guy Code to hiding your boner in public, and she was like, you can't do treat little kids and also be talking about how to hide your boner. So she made me choose right then and there. And she, I remember vividly her saying exact quote. She's like, Chris, you're an idiot if you try to pursue comedy. Ah. idiot she talked word for word she was like you're an idiot she was like we have another guy who does this comedy stuff who works in the school district and you know he, he's never going to make it you're not going to make it she was like i don't mean to crush your dreams but this is not going to happen so you sh you have a great job here making fifty eight thousand dollars a year <laughs> with full health benefits she's like so you should stay and my mom said said the same but my dad was like Go for it. My dad was like, let it rip. You can live in my basement in Staten Island. You're going to never regret. You're going to regret it. My dad's like, every day I wake up and I regret not trying out for the Yankees. I was like, you're fat. You've had diabetes <laughs> since you're 25 years old. You're never going to make the Yankees. But I took, he kind of blessed me and was like, just go. And then I went, left physical therapy that day. About two weeks later, MTV gave me like an overall contract to like just do comedy with MTV and like doubled my physical therapy salary. So and I never looked back.